I don't know. Today, on this video, I'm going to cover a subject that's kind of been in the back of my mind over the years. And the subject is the mislabeling, misnaming of various types of tubes and stuff in the data books and everything. And if you're familiar with tube nomenclature, you should be familiar with what a triode, a diode, a triode, and a tetrode, and a pentode, or a beam power tetrode is and stuff. Well, if you look at specific tube types, like in this case a 6BZ6, and if you look at it on the data sheets and stuff, it'll be labeled a uh, pentode. And if you actually look at the tube internally, you'll notice that it's got two control, two grids, a control grid, accelerator grid, and it's got a set of beam forming plates, and then the anode. And if anyone's familiar with tube nomenclature, that should tell you that the actual design of this tube is a tetrode, or a beam power tet, not a beam power, but just a beam tetrode stuff. Or if you look at all the data books, you'll see it labeled as a pentode, and in some, you uh, might find it labeled as a beam pentode stuff, but actuality, this is a beam tetrode, and you'll find that with a lot of different tube types and stuff, like the 6, yeah, there's another 6 easy, and the 6, let's see, read it here, 6DE6, and the 6AH6 and the 6CB6. You also see that in multi-component tubes like the 6U8 and stuff. If you actually look at the pentode section of the 6U8, you'll notice that it's got a set of beam forming plates and an anode and, uh, with, two control, uh, with two grids, a control and an accelerator grid. So in actuality, it's got a beam tetrode in it instead of a pentode. And it's just I've always found it strange where they mislabel or improperly name a whole wide range of tubes and stuff for really no reason at all. The only thing I could think of is name familiarity. Stuff like the 6AM8. If you look at it, it's got a diode on one side. And two grids, beam forming plate, anode. So this is a beam tetrode on the other side. But if you look at the data sheets, most likely it'll say pentode for this section here. And primary reason they use the beam tetrode design is to get the higher frequency capabilities uh, that the electrode structure will give the tube unlike the true BA6 but with that comes the uh, general disposition that beam tetrodes would give and if a person just looks at the data sheet and doesn't actually look at the internal design of the tube then they probably won't design the circuit to best tolerate the tube in question because if you don't wire a circuit very good and use sloppy construction practices with one of these little itty bitty beam power tubes then you have a tendency to get into parasitic oscillation and unstable operation 
far quicker than you would using a true 6BA6 or 6AU6 or other pentode. So these are far less forgiving on sloppy construction than the normal pentodes, which is one of the reasons why the mislabeling of these beam power tubes or these beam tetrodes is actually detrimental in my own opinion because people don't really realize what they're working with. So that's my little rant for today. Take care.